Welcome to another Fusion 360 manufacturing update. For updates to the other workspaces of Fusion 360, make sure to check out Aaron's video in the upper right hand corner now. In our last update, we added analysis tools to the manufacture workspace with section analysis, which is great for interrogating the inside of a model or viewing internal turning toolpaths. This update, we're continuing to expand the manufacturing analysis tools. Accessibility analysis highlights which parts of a model are accessible from a given direction with red and green shading that updates dynamically as the model is moved. This gives a clear visual indication of what you can access from the given orientation and if your component may have undercuts that require subsequent operations. It even takes modeled fixturing into account. Minimum radius analysis identifies internal radii and highlights them green or red depending on the minimum radius value. Green, meaning the radius can be machined with a tool of that size, and red, meaning material will be left behind as the tool is too large. The maximum tool radius value sets the upper limit, and therefore the scale, of the slider. Both accessibility analysis and minimum radius analysis are editable, have opacity settings to dim the green and red colorization, and appear in the analysis folder in the browser where you can toggle their visibility, just like section analysis. Next up, we made some improvements to Probe Work Coordinate System, or Probe WCS. For starters, it is now located in the probing section of the toolbar, next to its cousins Probe Geometry and Inspect Surface. Under the Geometry tab, we added a Tolerances section, where you can set the allowable tolerance for the probed feature to be out of position or size. In the Actions tab, in addition to shifting the work coordinate system, you can define what should happen if the size or position is found to be out of tolerance, starting with stopping and displaying an error message on the control. You can also print the probe results, which will display the results on the control. We've also increased the robustness of NC programs. Now if an NC program references a deleted object, we'll remind you to regenerate that NC program. We also warn you if you try to post two NC programs of the same name, rather than overriding files, which is certainly not the intended behavior. In the manufacturing extension, we've made improvements to probe geometry and steep and shallow. In probe geometry, it's now much easier to tell which operation is selected when using update tool where information appears in the dialog box. Steep and shallow now has a smoothing option. Unlike most other toolpaths in Fusion 360, there are two choices. Fit arcs is the default option that you'll find in other toolpaths, and it fits lines and arcs to the toolpath to reduce the total number of points. This is generally good for older machines or machines that need less data to run smoothly. Evenly spaced points is the new option, and rather than trying to reduce the number of points, this evenly distributes them along the toolpath. Evenly spaced points can help the machine stay significantly closer to the programmed feed rate and smooth out machine motion, reducing cycle times and improving surface finish. Do note this option is best suited for newer machines that can handle many points. That's all for this time. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Fusion 360 updates, and I'll see you for the next one.